Okay, now for the windshield. This is the Madstad windshield. I can't remember what I ordered. I think it's the 20 inch, but we'll find out. I got it in the light smoke. We are going to install this. All right, I need to take these off. I believe they are six millimeter Allen keys, so five. They're five millimeter, just so they couldn't be consistent on the bike, but. couple o-rings behind them some oh, plastic washer type things so make sure to save those in case you need to put this back on I had a couple of these one dropped on the ground but we'll grab that so there we go And number four, which was put on a little weird and it's all crushed anyway, so we might need new ones. Open this up. Put this somewhere safe until the end. Get all the hardware here. Now I bought this a couple months ago and kind of anticipating the bike and then I saw some stuff online that didn't really fit that grade or I'm not sure but we're gonna find out the pictures online looked like it was good and I need something better than what the stock is dig out the instructions Looks like it's pretty easy. May even be reusing some stuff from what we took off. So let's see, there's not a whole lot of parts. Blah, blah, blah. Remove the factory windshield, put the base plate in place. I'll probably end up removing this anyway at some point because I have the uh, USB port, the auxiliary lights. Uh, eventually I've got some heated grips to go on, a couple other things, but I do want a windshield now um, until I get to those. So, and I think it's pretty easy to take this back off anyway. So place the flat base plate fits right over the windshield mounting holes more rigid yada 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 it's got some slots it says for smartphone holders blah 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 okay so it really matters which way it's got a little M in there so use the factory windshield screws for the mountain. Okay. I think I need to read ahead a little bit because I don't see where this thing's going to attach at any point. Let's see. Oh, duh. Because I'm an idiot. Which 
always read the instruction first. So it looks like they can only go on one way. So the uh, knob will be to the inside. So yeah, it says the knob should be facing towards the driver and facing towards each other. So this other one. It's been so nice today and I've been messing with putting all this stuff on. I can't wait to go out and take it for another ride, but the windshield was an absolute must. It's just so loud without it. I'm hoping this alleviates some of that wind noise. I should probably lock tight these in, but I'm going to be taking it off in a week or so to do some other installations. So I'm just going to snug it up pretty good here. Should be good to go. Next step, windshield installation. Windshield attached to the front bracket with the T-head screws here, T-head or Phillips. Cha -cha -cha. Prepare the shield first by inserting an M5 thrust screw. Let's move ahead. Somehow I feel like I'm missing something. Goes into adjusting. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see what's in this bag here. Oh, maybe not. And then there's already these. Uh, fittings on here that this will screw into. So let's grab the shield and put this on. Well, normally these things should come with some type of peel back on it, but it was just in a plastic bag. So whatever. So screw hard washer. Then soft washer. Put the top two on and get it into place here. I'm going to put all these in. Um, boom. And put these washers on. Okay, washer. A little bit difficult doing this for the camera. Slide that one in. Get on there. Okay. Tighten these as much as I can to hold it in place and then grab a Phillips head. The instructions are very explicit on do not over tighten the T-screws. The, the bolts or the, the nut I guess on the back is kind of a rubber grommet with a metal insert to accept this. So. It would be easy to over tighten and pull that back through. So it's probably just want to snug it down. Just going to move these around just to make sure everything's kind of lined up. Just 
don't really like, give you much of a, I don't know, a, an explanation of what's not too tight. So, good judgment, I guess. All right, I'm gonna pull the camera over here so you can see what's going on with this. So you can kinda see when you screw that down, it kind of bubbles out and there's that one if it's not pushed in flush the bubble will end up being in front of it and you don't want that there's already a rubber washer there so I'm guessing you just want it to bubble up a little bit to, when it's snug I'm not quite sure it doesn't really indicate in the instructions but that's what I'm gonna do so make sure you push down to get that I guess bushing through the hole all the way. If you just start snugging this up, you'll see it pull. I'm gonna back that out. Okay. Back that out, push it in nice and snug. Take a look at how these look over here. That's gonna get pushed in. I'm just backing this one out again so I can push that bushing all the way up in there. And watch so you don't scratch your own shield. There we go. Again, I'm pushing this nice and snug in here so the bubble it creates when it pulls that rubber grommet doesn't go in front of the bracket. So. <laughs> it sits pretty far away. Oh boy. All right, well, let's look at how it's adjusted. I'll show you what's all going on. So again, I don't know if you can see it in here, but it's just a little, it kind of creates this little bubble as that's pulled in and you want that to be on this far side of the bracket. The rubber grommet or the rubber washer is here. I kind of just tighten them down so they kind of look a little fat right there. That seems to be good. I don't know what's over tightened, but I would imagine it would just start sucking that all the way down in if you just started yanking on it. So you don't want to do that. From the side, you can see that it definitely sits pretty far from the bike. But uh, I'm going to get the instructions and see what the adjustment's like. It's obviously quite a bit bigger. Let me grab the, uh, the original here. So that's the original. This looks like it's maybe. Uh, five or six inches taller and definitely a bit wider. Oh, there you go. Let's read the instructions on the adjustments. Screw knob to release. I should read more, but I'm just gonna mess with it. So obviously there's tilt front to back. Oh, there we go, we can go even higher. All the way up. Oh, that's not gonna be so bad. Well, I'm gonna just tentatively tighten this down like so. Okay, what I was saying before is I raised this shield and I don't know, it doesn't look too bad like that. I like a tall shield. It looks like it could go up even another inch or so, but I think 
I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now. Play with the adjustment. Take it out for a ride in a bit. But um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Probably not coming out that great on the camera, but I'll get some pictures of it once we're out on the road. Yeah, I've got it moved almost all the way forward, but I'll play with that kind of angle uh, once I'm out riding to get an idea of how I how I want it. I did notice this. I dig this, but I don't know. Look, the looks a little chintzy as far as the laser cutting or whatever they did. I mean, from a distance it looks fine, but if you look up close, it looks kind of half-ass. But overall, the shield is nice and thick. It's clean. I believe I ordered light smoke. I don't know. It was a couple months ago. I'll have to check my receipt, but it doesn't really look light smoke. Not that I would really miss it if it wasn't. Most of my shields have been uh, clear, so I'm going to back that one out just a little bit. I feel like that's probably good. And then getting into here where it's really kind of pushed in is probably too much. So a couple of these I might just back out so they kind of just look like a, a little fat tire and not, not so tight. So I'm going to adjust that. And again, you know, this can just, you know, come off later when I do the other stuff. When I put this back out, I'll probably Loctite uh, these on. Obviously, you don't want to Loctite this stuff in uh, in case you need to adjust it or anything like that. And then maybe at some point I will look up on their website what apparently um, tight or not too tight is. But I feel like what I've got is relatively correct and it feels pretty stable. So we'll take it out on the road and uh, see how it goes. Oh, I need to maybe just kind of adjust this stuff back a little bit because they're a little tilted forward. And I did notice from the dealer, maybe their um, assembly, one side was a little off from the other. I mean, not just a little, I guess. It, it was definitely noticeable after riding it for a bit. I was like, why, why are all the controls on this side like reaching up to get to? So. No matter, you should probably adjust this kind of stuff to your liking with every bike anyway. So I will, uh, I'm not gonna do that today. I wanna ride this thing and it's gonna get dark soon and probably cold. I put away all my tools. But yeah, that's the Madstad and I think that's it. Today we did the center stand, the SW Motec tank bag. Take that over here again, just to look at it. It looks a little weird, but it is what it is. It clears the bar risers. Um, I feel like you could probably mod this to like, you know, maybe have like another little pouch under here or something, or, or just leave it, I don't know. Um, they have one other bag that I think fits the bike much better, but I got this on a clearance and uh, you know, I think it was like $75 more for the, I think it's the city bag or something, and that kind of fits better, but this will be fine for what I need. Holds a lot of stuff. You know, you're gonna lose a little room because of this block plate in here, but, you know, camera, some other stuff. Um, you know, you'd probably rig it up to hold some kind of beverage. And yeah, center stand works, looks good. It was easy install other than that spring it was pain in the ass. Um, what else? Yeah, good to go. Um, I got a bunch of other stuff to put on the bike in a week or so. Maybe, maybe a couple tomorrow because we got to take you to the vet, don't we? Don't we? You got to get your checkup. And you need a bath because it's dirty out here and you keep laying in the dirt. Give me your toy. Give me your toy. Give me that toy.
you don't get to go on the motorcycle ride. Sorry. All right.